cultural difference, culture shock. People are just different mentally here and there. And we miss Ukraine uh, just because of well, yeah. yeah, yeah. For example, in Ukraine, no one ever like, no one ever tells says like, "I love your tattoos." Like from the opposite side of the road, for example, or like in supermarket. We have like personal. Sp we we respect personal space more than everything. We are more reserved than you are here in the states. Yes. Yeah. yeah, we don't talk to strangers just like this. Um, we don't smile to strangers. Yes. That's, that we consider that be be creepy. It is. Um, that's why I'm not really comfortable here when someone's like, "Hello." Yeah. Uh, but at the same time, it's it's kind of like sometimes you need it. You know, sometimes you need. Sometimes you, know, you just get overloaded with this attention from people around you here in the states with this uh, openness i'm i'm getting tired of people being too smiley uh, and uh, too friendly if i can say mm -hmm. so yeah I, I i just very often i feel here walking in the street it, it is common to say hi to absolutely unknown people yeah and sometimes i just want to walk and think about my own things and be you know and separate from the outer world but i'm constantly distracted with this because i see people and i feel like oh i need to say hi and things like that and they say hi to me and i'm, I'm i just very often i i like just walking and thinking about my own stuff and i i want to be secluded in my own mind you know and it's hard here in the states and at the same time with americans being so open and things like that i don't want to offend anyone but at the same time it feels like uh, there is not much honesty and sincerity in all these smiles people just do this because it is common to do this yeah and in ukraine in russia in eastern europe people smile at you only if they feel like that and that's it yeah and you you will never get a smile from a person just because just just for no reason people smile at you when they like you when they are glad to see you and things like that yeah to smile in ukraine or like in russia uh, it's not a rule it's uh if it's you get a gift it, it's a gift that's why it's if, so precious if you earn a smile from a stranger it's a blessing oh you guys i i must tell you because i remember when one once i i took a ride on a trolley bus somewhere i i i believe like i went to to the city center or something in kiev and it was dark and gloomy i a day like i mean it's like fall or spring or winter i don't know and um there was an old lady really tiny really skinny lady sitting like near me and when it was her stop to take off but to get get out get off yeah so she placed her palm on mine and she said have a great day and such a sweet voice you have a wonderful day today and she was like hey, you too oh you guys that's you you'll never hear it from anyone like i swear in Ukraine so it's when some something like this happens it's like your day is yeah it's it's, it's made <laughs> already yeah and there are more and this it is not bad I mean this difference and there are way more of other differences and we just peace home it's homesick I think we are what I'm feeling now is homesick yeah yeah the first thing we always uh, talk about is that um, here in Ukraine, you always take off your shoes when you enter an apartment or house, you know, you leave your shoes, um, near the, the door, you know, and then you put your slippers on or you just walk barefoot, uh, in America, as we know, as we see it from, uh, movies, people can even, uh, like, go to bed <laughs> with yeah. their shoes on which is kind of weird for us 
And also in Ukraine, it's not very typical for people to smile to each other, uh, to, to a stranger. You know? in, in the States, it was like, it, it's a little bit intimidating, you know, when you, when you are there for the first time, you know, yeah. Especially yeah. for me, who is very like self-reserved, self, -reserved, self uh, like I just sitting in my head and usually I find myself like being this, like with this kind of grimace. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but you know, when you're there for like for the second time, it's, it's easier and you're just like, yeah, smiling, but it's better to do so than in Ukraine, you know, when you buy some like a cigarette, for, for example, pack of cigarettes in the store, people like the people who, who sell these things to you, they're absolutely unfriendly. Yeah. And, you know, a smile from a stranger can really change your day and what it, it applies to me. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I, and I really try to, um, wish like have a good day every time i talk to a like a cashier cashier yeah like you know what i mean to to people in service mm -hmm. or something i always try to be positive and be polite first of all yeah exactly exactly and i can imagine that's got to be a little bit of like so much of a culture shock when you come to america and you just go to a gas station they're just like hi how are you great to see you yeah. again <laughs> it's just like yeah yeah <laughs> And a lot of people, like if, if you go to a mall or like supermarket, people, hey, I like your tattoos. And you were like, what? You will never, you'll never see this in Ukraine. Yeah, yeah. Never. <laughs> That's so people funny. Just don't, yeah, people just don't, don't notice you um, unless you're like really tattooed and, but they will say nothing to you. Nothing good. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> they would say something bad, also, but maybe not into uh, not to your face, but maybe behind your back. But yeah, 